In these four examples, we're determining whether or not the relation is a function, and then if that function is many to one or one to one. So if we look at number three, uh, we first see that three, one of the inputs, is not defined. There is no output that comes from three. So this is not a function because it is not well defined. There's no output for that input of three. If we look at example four, we're looking at is this a function and here we notice that the input 2 has two different outputs that's the other way that it could be not a function so this one also not a function you want a function to clearly explain what the output should be and this one is unclear should 2 go to A or should 2 go to B that's not a function if we look at example 5 I see 1, 2, 3, and 4 all have an output and they all go to only one thing. Now, people get uh, concerned that 1 and 2 are both going to A. That's okay. If I tell you what the input is 1, you know the output is A. There's no confusion. If I tell you the input is 2, you know the output is A. You're not confused like in example 4 where you're wondering, if I tell you the input is 2, you're not sure, should I pick A or B as my output? So yes, this is a function. Every input has an output. There's only one output for every input. Now, we want to ask ourselves, is it many to one or one to one? Well, our concern earlier is now helpful in the answer. We see many inputs going to one output. So that makes this many to one. Finally, let's look at example six. And here we see one has an output, two has an output, three and four all have outputs. And they are all also, uh, none, none of them have two outputs. So yes, it is a function again. And here we look, do any of the outputs basically have two different inputs that result in that? No, so this is one to one. And those are really the four types of examples you can see on is it a function and is it many to one or one to one.